Alright. So sorry about the graphics looking a bit worse, but I had to do that for a better frame rate for you guys on the recording. But this is going to be me testing some stuff. Hopefully we get a on to or a non ramp. I didn't even check where the breaker is, but ooh, phone. So personally you get to see some stuff and the ghost sea is upstairs unless it's roaming. So I might start making some Ouija board guides on locations. In each map. Oh. Okay, well, now that's the second location that I've seen directly. I've actually seen one upstairs in that room. But I've heard there's a location in this room, so... Are you in here? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Still having some issues, but it's not nearly as bad. I'd assume. Yeah, you're not losing any... Uh, you're not losing as much. Where are you? Where are you? Boys bedroom. find out what the boys' bedroom is. And is it the left or right room? And which one's the master bedroom? Give us a sign. Are you here? Or are you here? Now this is a perfect ghost for this, by the way. Now, unless it's a rev, it should be fine. <coughs> Apparently there was a safe spot at the toilet as well. You know, I should just uh, grab you and then grab an EMF reader. All right.
Somebody's roamed into the bedroom. It might be that hallway. My sign be 62, that's not bad. Our objectives, candle, motion sensor, escape. I was about to start asking spirit box questions, but now I need to pull up. That's only EMF 5, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we've got thingies, which is. Is it Banshee or in Rev? Oh no. Are we about to have a Rev? How old are you? Are you here? Give us a sign. Are you friendly? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? Give us a sign. just want to know exactly where it's at because it's roaming for sure candles off the board motion sensors off the board I know why that is because I didn't have a photo cam so that kind of sucks It's a rev on this map, isn't it? Now if you're wondering why I'm checking, I'm just trying to learn the locations of fingerprints. Freezing? Wraith Banshee, it's Banshee. Is that what I'm getting? How old are you? Oh, Jesus. I think it's Wraith. But... Give 
us a sign. Show yourself. Are you here? Which window did you knock on? This one? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Show yourself. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. So this is the only door then. Shut. So this one's on this side. No hankies yet. Checking for hangies. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Can you show yourself? Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Come on, ghost. Give us a sign. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Hunt, kill, murder. Hunt, kill, murder. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Hunt, kill, murder. Hunt, kill, murder. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Yeah, there's this room. I've already gotten that one. Hunt, kill, murder. Hunt, kill, murder. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Hunt, kill, murder, hunt, kill, murder, bloody Mary, bloody Mary, bloody Mary. Hunt, kill, murder, hunt, kill, murder, bloody Mary, bloody Mary, bloody Mary. Give us a sign. Show yourself. Come on. Come on. Show yourself. Okay, I know where I'm at now. Oh. Wait. I had Firefox open. No wonder my frame drops were common. That should fix most of them. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Because now I get to teach you a lot more about thingies. I think if I take the interaction I get a perfect game. Okay. So 100 from Ghost, 70 from Bone, 60 from
So what you're gonna see me do now is more or less fill up and start showing stuff. Even if I still have to escape the ghost during a hunt, I just need to show more pinkies. <coughs> now, sorry about having to clear my throat, but one interesting thing about fingerprints in Phasmophobia is that they always appear on the same side of the door. So, this will always be in this location. This will always be in this location. Um, this fingerprint will always be here. And this one, always here. And this fingerprint will always show up on this side of the light switch. Also, that was in Ghost Days. I walked into it. This ghost is really active. Now let's go downstairs, see if we have many doors down here. Or touched. Didn't touch this one. And it didn't touch this one. Now that's an interesting thing that you'll probably find out later is that ghosts can leave fingerprints on other things, like windows, of course. Uh, keyboards in prison are effectively white light switches. I need to grab that. But every light switch you know how to take a photo of, so I will not bother on that. other things. So now we're just waiting for a hunt. And I think this might be the best hiding spot in the map besides the trash can. So now we wait. enough. I'm looking at this and looks like it fixed most of the frame rate issues. We did have like 20% of a buffer to work with. So I'll explain where the uh, fingerprint locations are on the basement doors. For the basement doors I are downstairs for the storage closets as I think that they're called. Um, those two will be on the inner part of the door so you have to open up the door to check them. The garage doors, uh, one will be on the in the kitchen side, the other will be on the garage side. And this is the same case for the living room to the kitchen as well. Those two doors. Now, window fingerprints, you'll have to check for. I know a few locations offhand, like the one you saw in this video. Um, but most of the time they're on the right side. Uh, they're rarely on the left. So.
Alright. So, as you can see, it did not switch either of these. Or, I think either of these. Yeah. Well, let's get to the basement. Ah, here we go. So, just to show you, both doors will be like this. Okay, so I'll tell you how uh, good that spot is. Oh god, that was scary. But did it touch any of these doors? It did. So it touched this one, which I could have sworn was. not coming up to these ones, but it's in the perfect room too. Let's wait for a hunt. Actually, so yeah. Um, the other four fingerprints you'll be able to tell. I think the right side door will be on the side that you are facing when walking towards the set of doors. So the right side door for each. And I think the left side is on the opposite for you. So that, that is, I think, how those double doors are. I know that the basement doors are in identical locations on the fingerprints. And, yeah. Let's see if it actually is showing. Let's see, I'm at 60. Uh, that gives me a slight buffer for it hunts. I do need to escape it. And it is a wraith, so. not on here right now, so unfortunately, but I think the store 
traversing the same gaps in relatively the same location. Now I might do a hiding spot guide on this, but on top of it, uh, another thing is that this map has very interesting hiding spots, so yeah. So we've got Wraith. Um, I'm not going to go for the perfect game, am I? I mean, I mean, why not? Let's go for it. Okay, I do have an empty slot. But basically, a perfect game in this map isn't that crazy. You just have to be good enough at either escaping the ghost which there was apparently a safe spot here at the toilet but now there are no safe spots in this map that I can Confirm our safe spots. But that area with the trash can might actually be a safe spot unintentionally. So, yeah. Hunt me. Come on. Hunt me. Hunt, kill, murder. Hunt, kill, murder. Come on. Hunt me. Hunt. Kill. Murder. If I hold this door, I'm safe. By the way. And the fingerprint would be like this panel, specifically. Uh, this one, I think it's this panel. But it might be that panel. This one, I believe, for fingerprints is this panel, and this one would probably be the same panel. Knowing how the doors are in this map, because they're very consistent. Come on, hunt me. Hunt, kill, murder. Hunt, kill, murder. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Hunt, kill, murder. Hunt, kill, murder. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Hunt, kill, murder. Hunt, kill, murder. Come at me. I did touch one of these perfectly. Okay. Now you know why I was like, oh wait, did it? Uh, yeah, it did, I think. Um, so, let's pull up again. That puts me at 80, perfect. So now I can show more. Just to show you the idea, because I did show you the other two. Locations. Well, it showed you the other locations of fingerprints. Yes. And did it touch this one? No. It didn't touch this one because I was holding it. But, oh, third. Yeah. See? It was right on there. One, two. So, yeah. So, generally, that area 
his fingerprints. But yeah, alright. So that'll be the rest of the video, and I hope you all enjoyed seeing a Willow Street House run, and you know what, I'll show my leveling, because I have gotten a lot of levels since I did a video, and honestly, it's not to show off, but it's just to show you before and after. So it is a Wraith, perfect game, I was 222. I mean, for, not 222, uh, 1422, and now I'm 1424, so, yeah, that, that's how the fingerprints work on that map, and I might show off other fingerprint ones, so, and, and also the, the semi-safe spots, as those are considered hiding spots uh, but there are door spots in this map but only one as you've seen in the video so I might do a hiding spot guide in Willow as well so I hope you all enjoy that if I make it and I hope to see you all in the next one and make sure to leave a like if you like the video and consider subscribing if you like my content, as it is free, and I'm subscribing is free as well. So, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.